I'm Noah. I'm Hunter. I'm Zoe. I'm Dana. <laughs> I feel like you were off. Can, every, can everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is count day. At 3.30 p.m., the high school bowling team will be facing Lennington at Northway Lanes. There will be detention in room 2 in the middle school from 2.55 to 3.55 p.m. Up next is Noah with weather. The weather today is a high of 27 and cloudy. Do you guys think you've figured out who the teacher is? Well, here's the answer. That's me, Mr. Goodrich. If you could retire tomorrow, what would you do? If I could retire tomorrow, and actually I could retire on February 17th, which is about a week and three days, but I'm going to retire on June 13th. So I am going to retire. Um, I don't plan on making any major changes in my life when I retire. I will stay in Muskegon. I will stay in the house that I'm currently living in. I'm not going to... Um, move down south. I'm not going to move into a different um, household. It's just going to be very similar to what I'm doing right now with the exception that instead of coming to work each day at school, I'm probably going to be working each day at my house. If you were a crayon, what color would you be? If I was a crayon, I'd be royal blue. What can I say? Royal blue. What inspired you to be a teacher? I decided I was going to be a teacher in my 10th grade year at Mona Shores High School. I had a teacher in my experience, his name was Mr. David. He was my physical education teacher. Um, I was in athletics in high school, did a lot in football, basketball, baseball. Ended up wanting to coach football, basketball, and baseball. And at that time I decided that's what I was going to do and that's what I did. If you could go back in time and change one thing, what would you do? I would change nothing. I've been very fortunate. I've been very blessed. I have done what I wanted to do my whole life. What's one thing that bugs you that students do? Students are attached at the hip to their phones. If they could take their eyes off their phones and start communicating with each other, instead of walking down the hallway with their face in their phones and their fingers a tapping, it would be a little bit easier to to navigate maybe. What flavor of a Jolly Rancher is your favorite? I'd hate to say this but I've never had a Jolly Rancher. It wasn't <laughs> something that I could buy when I was young so I really can't tell you. If there is a watermelon Jolly Rancher. I'm not sure if there is or not, but if there is a watermelon Jolly Rancher, it'd probably be watermelon, but I don't know. Anything you would like to say to the students? Just keep working hard. Make sure you do your schoolwork first. Um, that's important. Um, become involved in an activity, some type of outside extracurricular activity, whether it be being in a play or whether it be in the marching band or in the band or in the choir or on a ski club or um, cheerleading or athletics do something other than just school and get involved with the activities in the school <laughs>